Okay, so this question uh, talks about positions of points on a map. Uh, it says the bearing of B from A is 070. So remember what bearings is about. It's about measuring the amount of turn you make in a clockwise direction from north until you're facing the direction you want to. So in this case, they're saying that that must have been 70 degrees. So the bearing of B from A. So from A means we're stood at A. So this angle here must have been 70 degrees. Okay, so we've used that bit of information. Angle ABC is 50 degrees, and it's saying that AB equals CB. So AB equals CB. So we put dashes through those because they're of equal length. Um, so this is telling us that we're dealing with an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. Um, it says work out. So it doesn't say measure. It doesn't say get a protractor. It's not saying this is drawn accurately. So it means we have to use some angle theories. And it wants the bearing of C from A. C from A. So in other words, um, it wants the whole of that angle from there to there. So we want the whole of this angle. So we need this angle here. Um, because this is an isosceles triangle, then we know that the base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. So again, using our facts about what we know, we know that an isosceles triangle base angles are equal. Um, so the base angles are the two angles at the end of the triangle following the lines that are of equal length. So the triangle could have been that way around, and then these would be the base angles, because they're at the end of the two lines that are the same length. So just remember, uh, it's not necessarily the bottom angles, although base tends to make you feel it's about the bottom. Um, the base is at the end of the two lines. So if this is 50 degrees, then we know that uh, triangle adds up to 180. So if that's 50 degrees, then these two must be 180 minus 50 degrees. And therefore one of them will be 130 degrees divided by 2. OK, so we now know that this angle here is 65 degrees. Now as the bearing is the angle turned from north to face the direction you want, then we've turned a whole 70 plus 65 degrees. So here we need to show 70 plus 65 degrees, which equals 135 degrees, and that would be the answer there. It's already three digits, because bearings must have three digits. Hence the reason that this one had a zero at the front because three digits, zero, seven, hour. Um, three digits needed. Yeah, we've met that condition by 135. So our answer then is 135 degrees.